Hey guys, it's Victoria again. Let's jump into your reading. I'm going to do, you know, we're just going to do a general reading. What do your spirit guides need you to know right now? Spirit's definitely trying to contact you. What important message does the collective need to know right now? Holy Spirit, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We have the hanged woman. King of Swords. You guys are definitely on the defense for something. Strong boundaries have been placed. Strong boundaries that have been set. And Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, because you're super focused on your goal. You could also definitely be focused on your family right now. There's a lot of energy um, coming through with being focused on kind of setting up a safe environment for you and your family or just a safe place for you. Because when I look here at the hanged woman, it is about perspective. Hanged man can definitely be about a shift in perspective, kind of looking at things from a different angle, right? But then with this card specifically, this, um, I don't know if you can see, but there's a porcupine in this card. And for this card specifically with this deck, with the art, I always get more of a like defensive energy or that you could be, there could be something here where you come off very soft, but there could be a don't fuck with me type of energy because I mean, he's very calm in this one. I mean, it's more porcupines will shoot their quills. Like their quills are very, very like they're very soft, like they're, they're, but it's once they are on the defense and they actually use those quills to, um, pretty much just like defend themselves. And then when you have the king of swords here, it's like, maybe you got some type of insight over something, a situation you got some type of, there was something that you found out and you had to put up a boundary. You had to cut someone off. I mean, he has his there's information here, so spirit could have definitely been giving you a lot of different signs over a situation or, or a person that you had to let go or cut off or set strict boundaries with. Doesn't necessarily mean that you cut them out of your life, right? It just could be that you, um, you had to set some type of, of, you had to put your foot down over something. And you are in a energy where they were not able, even if they felt like they wanted to argue back or they wanted to fight against this. They wanted to challenge this, this rule that you implemented, this boundary that you set, this something that you were firm on, a stance that you were firm on. But you're not budging. Like, this is not something that you're going to be budged on because you know that you hold, like, that you're correct in this matter. You are correct in this matter. And you are also being given the signs that you are on, like, that you made the right decision. So if you've been wondering if you made the right decision, you have um, 333. So you could have some type of, there could be a spirit number here with your guides of 333. Or there could be a message with 33. Um, snowy owls could have significance to you or owls just in general. Maybe you've been hearing a lot of owls lately. This definitely could be some type of maybe more of a, maybe you guys have like an inner knowing. It's like when you, you don't know how you know it, but you know it. It's like, you see the outcome of this Ten of Pentacles, what you want for your family, what you want for you, what you want for your home life could even, I mean, it could be in terms of like home life, like your family and just the general safety feeling vibe that you want in, in the dynamic, right? You want to build a good dynamic within your family. You don't want there to be dysfunction or you don't want to repeat dysfunctional patterns that maybe you grew up with. Or it could be that you literally want to create a safe haven in your home. Maybe you have an idea for um, decorating. Maybe you have an idea for like, maybe you're going to do a project for your children's bedroom or you're going to, I don't know, it's just like something and it's almost like an interactive thing. So I don't know if this is like 
maybe you are doing more um, meals together. Maybe you guys are cooking together more. Maybe you guys want to do start on meal prep or you, like this is very heavy on like meals right now so, uh, and home life. Um, it's finding that comfort. It's really finding this like making your home a safe place. This is definitely the energy it's giving me. Um, and maybe this is what came of it, whatever it is that you put your foot down or whatever it is that you cut out. Maybe this was the result was that there was a lot more peace. There's a lot more peace of mind for you. You have a little bit more stability. You have a little bit more of a, I'm hearing even just like someone breathing a deep sigh of relief. Maybe there was a lot on your shoulders. So now it's like a lot of, um, working together. I mean, I'm even getting just like, if, if an example, right. Um, people who, if you make tamales or tamales, um, when growing up, like that was like a family thing. Even when I did make tamales this, um, holiday season, I had friends, like this is like an event to do together. Like, a um, uh, it's like doing something together, like bringing people together. It's like, you're really wanting to have this camaraderie, camaraderie, is that the correct? <laughs> I hope I said that right camaraderie but there is something here where I don't know if this is like one or two energies around you where they almost feeling like closed out because I'm hearing locked out of heaven by Bruno Mars I don't know maybe you were just firm with someone in terms of like what you want like maybe you just really had to tell someone like what it is that you want like you had to like be a little firm in it right or you had to like vocalize it yeah judgment it's like bringing what was like unearthing something, bringing something to light, like clarity, um, something that was dead to life. So I don't know if you like lit the, I don't know if this is like something where you were going to leave, like, like if you were going to leave someone and it scared them into, I don't know, stepping up in some form or some aspect The Empress, yeah, because you're literally in like this energy of being, uh, you definitely could be a mother here, really amazing mother, you are definitely a, you're, I'm not like all the other moms, I'm a cool mom, <laughs> that's the energy I'm getting, you don't have to be a mother, this could just be like you have like the energy of being very nurturing, um, being in the... Maybe you were more firm on like what you're going to receive. Like maybe you were the one putting a lot of effort in and it's like, you know what you're worth. You know your value, bitch. You're the 10 of fucking pentacles. Hello with the empress and the king of swords. Like, like, hello. This is like major energy. You know your worth. You know your value. And I feel like you have, like you value... The things that you do value, okay, how do I word this? Because there are people that have certain values, but it's very loose, right? Like, you are, like, if they say that they enjoy X, Y, Z, but then they go and do A, B, C. Like, I don't know how to explain this. It's like, you're very firm on your stances. Like, you are someone, like, if you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. So maybe this is, like, even you trying to make that, like show that example to your children or show that example to the people around you. Again, you don't have to have children. Um, but even just like with pets, like if you, even if you tell yourself like, okay, I'm going to go, I need to take my pet. I need to take my dog to the vet on this day. You're going to do it. You know, if you tell your kid that you're going to go to their basketball game, you're going to show up. Like you, you're someone who actually like you are going to make it so that you are there and that you are, providing in the way that you know that others around you deserve to be provided for. But in turn, you put your foot down and you're like, I'm going to also be receiving this because especially if you have a partner or, or like someone who's parenting with you, a spouse, whatever it may be, it's almost like if they, ha if they weren't already pouring into you in that manner, like being that partner, right? Like it is a... Energy is reciprocal, right? Like, if I'm showing you love and you're not showing me love back, 
then what is this connection? Like, what are we doing here? Especially if this is like a contractual agreement, like, like marriage, right? Like that is a contract, like two people making vows to each other to honor, to love each other. So you're someone who actually like really takes that seriously. You really, um, you hold people to their word. And when they don't come through with it, then you're like, okay, then I know you're showing who you are and you don't, and that's that. Like that's, that's just, <laughs> that's how it is. Maybe people might think you're a little bit fucking harsh, a little bit too strict. Yeah, maybe people think you're a little bit too on your toes, but like, I'm, look at this. Look at this. I'm sorry, but like, I shuffled this. You guys have seen me like 10 of cups, Empress, 10 of cups, the Hierophant, King of Pentacles. Like you have a goal, you have a vision and you're not letting anything like steer you off your course. And this is definitely like you are, it's almost like your energy demands this respect. It's all, like, maybe you didn't even have to voice it. I mean, for some of you, you really did, but it's almost like a lot of you, your energy already demands it because of the work, the action. Like you are someone, you are a fucking queen or a king. Like literally you are a, I'm in a boss bitch mood. <laughs> like you're a fucking boss bitch. Like I'm like, you have you have a handle on things like you are like I'm getting I'm getting like Beyonce, Megan Thee Stallion, um, Cardi. Like this is like giving me like very, like you will step on a bitch's neck. Like <laughs> I'm sorry to be so like, but that's the energy this is giving. Like you don't get in my fucking way. Don't get in my way. I know what I want. I know what I deserve. I know what my kids deserve. I know what my family deserves. I know what my friends deserve. You are someone that loves to share the abundance. You love, look at the way that she's sharing in this abundance, but she's also being like doted on. She is the, she is the center here. She is, I'm getting like mother goddess, you're mother earth. It's like, you have this, this really like mother type of energy here. Some of you could have even come, I'm hearing witchy. <laughs> you don't have to be witchy. Some of you could even have like a darker aesthetic, like a, um, like all black or just like wearing like a very darker tone colors darker eye makeup or just very bold very bold um features could be like a bold lip a bold um you could even wear like black lipstick i know like oh my gosh i met um one of my friends i went to south carolina for the holidays and i met one of their friends and their makeup was just like everything about their style was fucking amazing she was like stunning gorgeous like I was I was in awe and her lipstick she wore black lipstick and she was rocking it like she like she was that she was that girl like <laughs> like it, that's what it was like you're that girl you're that guy you're that person all eyes on you like this energy definitely comes through quite a bit but like this is on another level that you are very highly ranked um highly favored not just spiritually not just by your spirit team by the spirit guys by the people around you, I feel like people really do love and respect you. Even even animals, you could definitely be a pet mom or be someone who um, is drawn to pets or really loves animals here. But you hold a lot of a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom. You could have like some type of like sage energy. You carry some type of sage energy, or you're kind of that friend that people go to for advice, wisdom, counsel. Um, even your kids, I feel like if you have children here, whether they are younger or they are adult children, I feel like you're someone that they know that they can talk to. They're very, like, you're very open, but you are someone that they know that are, is going to be very truthful. <laughs> you're not, even with your own children, I feel like you're someone who is going to be honest. You know, this is almost giving me the energy. I think I remember I saw a post before where um, these parents were talking to their kid about let's uh, Christmas, right? And they didn't tell their child that Santa Claus, like they, they were saying like they, they, they didn't want to lie to their child about Santa Claus, but instead they introduced like the spirit of St. Nicholas, right? Like the spirit of giving, the, um, the symbolism of it. So it's like almost that energy where you're very straightforward, even like the mom from The Haunting of Hill House. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that show, but the mom, before it was, before she got, she was like possessed and everything. <laughs> excuse just like it's, let's ignore that part but before where she just like had a lot of different she was very knowledgeable in like a lot of different things she was kind of like you saw that she was the head of the household she also was very um spiritually in tune with certain things around her so there is like this mother connection so I don't know if you're like 
very in tune. Like if you are a mother or you're very close with your own mother or there's something here where your mother is watching you or a grandmother here, but there's very like motherly energy and you carry this very, um, I don't know how to explain. It's just like a very, like there's like a line. There's a, like something was passed down descendant a line but you carry this like maybe you have like royal ancestry in some aspect i don't know like maybe you have like down the line of your ancestors there was like a royal like there's royal blood or something here because this is a very heavy on royalty very queen king energy very powerful very strong um and very well liked like the, like if this is giving me like this is a a sovereign leader right like someone who is not only in charge, but they know how to wield that responsibility. They know how to um, teach. They know how to lead. They know how to... It's like you just really are from different angles, like very wise. Like you're skilled in a lot of different angles here. So people could see that. So, but, and, and, but there is also that form of like you have that very softness about you. But there is also that that do not fuck with me. Like, I'll turn the light. The sun just went out. It's like, I'll turn the lights off, bitch. Like, we can go. We can get petty right now. Like, we can go hard. But this is what I'm getting for you guys. Actually, you know what? Let's get some advice. Let's get some advice for you guys. Let's do. You guys know I'm going to pull my bird oracle. Because I love this deck. <laughs> some advice here for the collective. Holy Spirit. Playful lightness. Lighthearted Joe de Vie wants to unfold. I really, I'm so sorry. I cannot. I don't speak French, okay? <laughs> but this is what I say. It says tit. So I don't really know too much about the tit bird. Hold on, let me see. Advice, advice. Playful lightness. Okay, so energetic and by no means shy, this delicate and fragile looking bird calls your attention to your zest for life. Fluttering, hopping, swinging, and occasionally hanging upside down. Oh my God, hanging and occasionally hanging upside down. You look at things from all different perspectives. I'm telling you. Whew. You you really do have like, oh, hello, ma'am. That's so rude. In just a second, baby. <clears throat> um ta -ta 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 -ta. hanging upside down tit or chickadee chickadee oh cute chickadee calls forth your own playful playfulness tit never abandons its joy curious and always ready to discover something new tit mindfully follows its impulses in jo joyful exhilaration without being scared or worrying all the time yeah you don't really carry that like you could have something here where it's not to say that you're fearless right I mean you really could be you really could be fearless in certain things maybe you've really overcome fear in certain aspects of your life and through overcoming it that's you've really gained like this this elevated type of energy here but there could be some things that you're still fearful of and working through um it says curious and always ready to discover something new to Mindfully follows its impulses in joyful exhilaration without being scared or worrying all the time. Tit enjoys the lightness of being. An encounter, an encounter with this little messenger of joy can release you from the rigidity of your life as you engage with Tit's joy. <laughs> Listen, let me not even say anything. Okay. In search of exciting adventures, Tit is always on the move. Be inspired by its open-minded approach to life and allow yourself to remember your long-forgotten dreams and wishes from your childhood days. Um, maybe there's something here where you're going to have something kind of like flipped on you or there's going to be kind of like something that inspires you to take action from like a old, an old hobby that you used to do or something that was in the back, like something that you did when you were younger and you've forgotten, but it's actually going to come to light here. This is what I'm picking up right now. I'm cheerful and full of liveliness. I hop and fly into your life with my yellow feathery dress. I announce the return of the sun and draw you out of any blue feelings. You rarely see my wings rest as my being wants to bring joy into everything. Are you ready to invite joy into your life? 
more meanings inner child joy and playfulness be curious and try new things look at your life from a different perspective <laughs> um break out of your routine of your everyday life remember your dreams and get going so it says no matter what situation i'm currently experiencing i'm now connecting with my joie de vivre with playful ease so it's like seize the moment it's very much so maybe there's something here about loosening the reins just a little bit um I don't think too much though. I feel like this is more, you really are in your, I'm living my best life. Like I, like you're really like your best self right now. You're feeling like your best self. You're feeling energized. You're feeling like on the go. You could be someone, a lot of green here. So you could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, some of you could literally be Hufflepuff. <laughs> That's coming through. Um, could be a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So maybe you have air and earth placement. A partnership for the new age. It's time to welcome it. 30. Okay, so again, if this is something where you created a boundary with someone or you told like you said something or did an action here and it caused someone else to really step into their own um higher energy here or they kind of like elevated or you really got someone to step up in in what they were doing or like to step up in the ways that you needed for the connection to continue on right so everyone has um what what they need in relationships and i think you just had the voice yours you are experiencing a spiritual blossoming. Take a new direction and be open to new experiences. 3031. Some of you could have a birthday coming up. So if you are an air sign, so it could be um, Aquarius birthday coming up. Um, you could be 30. You could be 31. You could be 40, 42. I'm getting 36. But I really feel like you kind of kick-started someone else. Like, whoever is closest in your energy. There's someone here in your energy. It really could be a partner. Like I said earlier, this could definitely be a partner that you really... They got kicked into gear. Like, I don't know. They they got scared that they were going to lose you. They're scared that they were going to... They're scared that they will lose you if they don't step up. Or they don't... It's almost like if you were... um Like, with a partner who... The time is right. Seize the day and make progress on your soul path. A light-filled angel is at your side. Yeah, you guys are so heavily protected. I'm telling you, I feel your spirit guides very strongly in this reading. You could be seeing 11-11 a lot. Um, but there is something here where... And only take this if it resonates, okay? But there's something here where... I don't know if you felt like you were... Like, mothering your partner... And I'm sorry, but that's just not, you don't want to be in a, well, let me not say you because I don't, but like for me personally, I would not want to be in a relationship with someone who is like projecting their own, how do I explain this? Who is like looking at you like a mom. I'm sorry, but like if you're, if your partner, if you're having to parent your partner on top of your own children. Like, you know what I mean? If, if you guys have children together and you're parenting, it feels like your partner is also a child in this equation. Like, yeah, you don't want to be, there's not like a sexual connection. There's no, there's not, not a partnership in that aspect. The, the power dynamic is totally shifted. That's, that's a mother energy. You're not supposed to be mothering your partner. You're not supposed to be fathering your partner. I mean, maybe when it comes to certain things, like in the bedroom, like daddy, mommy, whatever it may be, like that's whatever. I, and and I'm not speaking for everyone. Everyone has their own taste. But this energy here, it feels more like you are in that energy where you're like, I am not your mother. I am not your parent. And you need to step up. So maybe that was what it was. If it wasn't, then don't take it. That's a very specific energy. And only take it if it resonates. But if whoever it was that, if it does resonate, whoever you told this to, it shook them. Like, it really did shake them. And so, I feel like for, for whoever it was that got scared, like, they're really actually, they're starting to do a, they're experiencing, an ex, like, a spiritual awakening. They could have even gone through, like, a dark night of the soul here, but this feels more like they're coming out of something. It's like, a, again, that, like, a sigh of relief, a breath of fresh air type of thing. Um, but, okay, this is where I'm going to leave your reading.
I feel like with the Hierophant, you guys are just going to stay consistent with this. And like you you have your goals on side. I don't know. Like the, the cards speak for themselves. I don't even like you guys do even need me for a reader. Like, like the like king, king, queen, empress, like ten of cups, ten of like. I'm living my best life. Best life. All right. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day, wherever you're at, evening, wherever you're at. Stay healthy, hydrated, and blessed. And I hope you're treated as you treat others. Bye.